Hi there everybody, this is just a quick look at the solar system that I've set up. Now I live in an apartment, so I really don't have a whole lot of space. As you can see here, as you can see here, you know, I'm up on the second floor, um, but really don't have a whole lot of space. This balcony is about the only kind of space that I really have. And so as a result, my solar system can't be that big. What I have here is a 100 watt, it's gonna be a 100 watt solar panel from Renogy. It's monocrystalline. I think this is about two or three years old. So it's a pretty efficient solar panel. Um, 100 watts, again, 12 volts uh, is the, well, the open circuit voltage is about 21, but the closed circuit voltage is supposed to be about 14, and the maximum amperage, I think, is right around 6.5 amps. So that's my solar panel. Then. I have it run down into this system right here. This is my solar charge controller right here. You can tell um, it's pretty basic. It's just a, a really simple solar charger, but basically, you know, you can press this button here and it'll give you all different kinds of readouts. Right now, I've got it telling me how much amperage it's getting from the panel, and it's doing really well. 6.5 amps, this panel is putting out pretty much the uh, peak amperage that it possibly can. So. so, you know, it's a sunny day, not a cloud in sight, um, and I'm really pleased with the fact that it's putting out all of that amperage, so yeah. It's, uh, it's a pretty good working system today on a sunny day like this. Next up on the system, we have this uh, LIFE PO4, so lithium iron phosphate battery from Neuromac. We get a closer look at the label here. 12 volts at 10 amps, uh, actually 12.8 volts um, and 10 amp hours. It has a 128 watt hour battery. So it's not really a particularly powerful or big battery by any means, but it contains enough storage capacity that it'll run something like a television or a few lights for, you know, an hour or two after the sun is set. Right now I have it hooked up to basically, you know, it's running an inverter right now. And then that inverter actually follows a cord into my apartment and it's running a television uh, as we speak. As for my inverter, it's kind of an old inverter. We get a closer look here at the label. It is a Cobra, uh, Cobra 2500 watt continuous 5000 watt peak. So basically this is a, uh, this inverter is capable of essentially taking the 12 volt power supply from the battery. Um, and I think it ranges from like 11 volts to 15 volts. And what it does is it's able to put out 2500 watts continuously or 5000 watts for, for a peak you know, if you had a piece of equipment that was drawing more than 2,500 watts, say for a few seconds as it starts up. It also has the five volt USB output. As we look at the paneling in front of it, you can tell we've got uh, three AC outlets, each with a ground, uh, the power supply or the power button, the uh, readout, and then of course you've got your little USB compartment and then a fan over here. And this fan's job is of course to just keep the thing cool. So that basically describes my solar system in a nutshell. Again, you've got the inverter, you've got the uh, solar charge controller, lithium iron phosphate or LIFE PO4 battery from Nermac, and then the 100 watt solar panel. Open voltage is 21 volts, but in reality, whenever you put it under load, it's meant to be a 12 volt solar panel or it's meant to be a solar panel for a 12 volt system. And to just kind of take a broader view here now that we've stepped kind of back inside the apartment, you can really tell I do not have a whole lot of space. Um, it's just that little 100 watt solar panel and the equipment that I'm using. And of course, here's the power outlet or the power cord comes in here. Boom. There's my television that it's currently uh, running. I could probably also run a couple of lights off of this thing. Like, you know, you can see over here, um, got a couple of lights. These are both LED lights. I've also had a string of LEDs that I have uh, historically powered off of this system. But yeah, just uh, nothing fancy, nothing significant, you know, nothing that definitely cost a whole lot of money to build. Um, just something very simple and enough to run a couple of light appliances off of. But, you know, uh, every bit, every savings, uh, every little bit of savings counts. And... I just think it's really cool. I'm a bit of an enthusiast when it comes to this stuff, and hopefully I will be posting a much bigger solar project coming up over the next couple months.